Jeremy, thank you very much. Um, first of all, I must apologise. My voice is um, giving up before I even started here, um, but I uh, hope you can hear me. So thank you very much to Jeremy and for Andrew for inviting me to present today. Uh, as Jeremy said, on behalf of the Knowledge Transfer Network, um, I'm what's called a tr Knowledge Transfer Manager, um, specifically on what's called Information Systems, ICT is the, the part of that. And indeed, you may have seen that KTN, Knowledge Transfer Network, are one of the uh, sponsors of the, um, the, uh, the conference uh, here today and during the week, although that's also the, uh, the electronic side of the KTN. So um, just before I start, so how many people in the room have heard of KTN prior to today? Okay, how many people have heard of Innovate UK prior to today? Okay, we're not doing too badly. Um, and of those who, who are, who, well, actually, how, how many of you in the room have, uh, are looking to uh, either currently innovating, uh, developing products and services, or looking to do that? So how many of you are sort of developers rather than consumers? Okay, about 50%, thank you for that. Okay, so my objective today is, is fairly straightforward. It's to, uh, next 15 minutes, introduce the KTN, uh, to introduce Innovate UK, if you weren't aware of either of those organisations. Make you aware that there is funding available. And I'm not going to go into the details on that, but just to make you aware that uh, public funds are available to support innovation. And, as Jeremy said, to, to mention a bit about open source as well. <coughs> So first of all, Knowledge Transfer Network. The KTN is the um, innovation network in the UK. Uh, we bring people together, and that's fundamentally what we're here to do. Uh, <coughs> we do work in a number of areas. Um, it's about connecting people strategically uh, across disciplines. So KTN is a, is a very broad organisation. So I'm on the ICT part. Um, there are, there'll be a slide later, but I've got people on built environment, on transport, on biotechnology. So uh, we particularly believe that it's not just a case of having, um, for example, a lot of software developers talking together. We, we can get innovation by bringing people from completely different disciplines together. Um, we want people to be entrepreneurial, we want them to uh, link up with ideas and, and put them in touch with people to support them in that process. And we particularly want to introduce them to you know, commercial sources of funding where that's appropriate. So the KTN itself, we've got 17 communities, 17 cross-section groups. We've got about 60, over 60,000 members. Um, you don't need to pay to, to join the, the, the Knowledge Transfer Network. It's, it's free to join. And um, we have about 6,000 people attend our events. And, and if you look on our website, and I'll show you the details later, we do have um, several events every day running in one form or other around the country. We are, I, I should actually say that we are grant funded by uh, Innovate UK, and I'll explain who they are in a minute. We're a, a private uh, organisation, um, deliberately so, to, to be somewhat at arm's length from the, the government funded organisation. And as I said earlier, these are the, the, the sectors that we work in so, electronic sensors, photonic, ICT, and mathematics. This is the, perhaps relevant for this community. But space, built environment, transport, energy, digital economy, design materials, chemistry, agriculture. So the whole, the whole spectrum of, the, of innovation in the UK. Um, we, and particularly as I said earlier, we're looking to get people together who would not normally meet. Um, so these are the, sort of exo the, the different sectors. And across this, and I don't want to go into detail, somebody asked me earlier, it was on H2020, Horizon 2020, so that's a European Union funding model. Um, but it's part of the spectrum, so we, you know, we, we want to, this is the sort of the underlying part, these are the different verticals which you work. The, the issue, of course, is ICT, it's, it's not just a vertical, it's, a, it's an enabling technology throughout. So hopefully you know a little bit about KTN. Um, I've got some slides here from Innovate UK. So uh, I'm, I'm presenting on their behalf of it. So uh, they, they are the innovation agency for the UK. They're, fun they're part of the Department for Transport, funded by them. Um, the headquarters are in Swindon. I think that's the picture of there. So they have yeah. people they have there have over 2,000 uh, years of experience. And they invest about over half a billion pounds a year in innovation. So hopefully that's got your attention. Um, it's all about collaborative R&D funding, and I must thank the people who have spoken earlier today because I think many of you have actually done, done my job for me because you've been talking about um, open source in business context. You've been talking about innovation and collaboration. 
um, and, and perhaps putting to rest the idea that this is open source is all about socialism and changing the planet. It's not just about uh, purely about business. So here's the spectrum of R&D funding. So there's the university research, which is mainly covered by the research councils. There's um, funding of, for companies, which is really handled by venture capital and, and, and banks and, and everything. Innovate UK come in the middle. It's where it's not, it's too, it's beyond basic research, but it's not you know, a commercial certainty and it just needs some money to get it, to, to scale it up. That is where they're, they're looking. And they're looking particularly maybe to, um, to operate you know, demonstrators. Um, <coughs> so whether it's something in, in the lab or, or get a product validated or um, something into production, that's where Innovate UK fit. And these are the areas in which they particularly focus. So they have the sort of enabling technologies, materials, ICT, electronics, sensors, photonics, biosciences. Um, and on top of that, they put digital services, high value manufacturing, and then various uh, vertical sectors that you can see across the top. And um, space is up the side. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it, it's another, another sector. So this is the priority areas. And Innovate UK have a number of tools to, to address that. And again, I think some of you in the room who've engaged with this in the past will, will be aware of that. So um, Knowledge Transfer Network fits in there. The um, innovation vouchers, um, if you've got an idea, and you've got to look at feasibility, um, those are 5,000 pounds. And that is actually a grant. Um, it's, a, it's somewhat of a lottery. You're not guaranteed to get it. But if you've got an idea and you want to kickstart it and you do some work, on it. That's the sort of uh, that's the entry level moment. Somebody else mentioned about the smart awards. Um, uh, so the yeah the whole the whole spectrum and then competitions as well, which I'll mention a little bit later. And this is just to range. So this is really the the, the range of, of what they do. And so it starts from this is some small to large. Um, the, the bigger competitions are oh, collaborative research and development, which again was, was encouraging to see, see collaboration as mentioned earlier. Back to, so that's what Innovate UK do. And, and, and somebody very, very succinctly explained this to me that Innovate UK do two things. They fund innovation and they connect people. And the way to think about what KTN does is we're the connecting people part of Innovate UK. So we don't, we're, we're, we're somewhat arm's length, but fundamentally they do the competitions, they provide the money, they, they police that and assess it and all of that stuff. Um, KTN, we're the outreach part of Innovate UK and we're meant to be out here talking to people like today to make you aware of these things and to encourage you to, to participate. So in terms of our, our strategic imperatives, we're we, we line up with the current priorities. Now we're somewhat, because of the change of government, because it's the, it was time for a refresh anyway, Innovate UK's uh, strategy is now, is currently being um, reviewed and will be, a new one is going to be published in the next month, I'm, I'm led to believe, but I think there was some delay because of the, the election early this year. Um, but that will be our driver on uh, where we focus. Um, and again, this is a bit another, another view of the enabling technologies. In this case, the space is at the top, which perhaps seems to make more sense, but there you go. So I was just going to mention, and it's a short mention here, and I hope you're not disappointed about, because I spoke to my counterpart at Innovate UK before I came here a couple of weeks ago and said, well, what do I say about open source? What's, what's your angle? He said, well, there isn't a story. It is the, the, the key message he wanted me to convey to you is open source is not excluded from Innovate UK's remit. There's no magic flag. And somebody did say this to me earlier, so, so I would like to dig down if, if someone has been rejected for a proposing open source project. Fundamentally, it's not excluded. Someone is, no one's going to say, if you mention open source, you're out. That shouldn't be the case. However, it does need to be in a business context. So if you go to them and say, I'd like some public money, what I want to do is do some great stuff and then give it all away and, and just sit in my bedroom and, and do lots of coding. That is not a business. This is about growing the UK by innovating, by getting companies to collaborate, ultimately to employ more, pe employ more people to export products and services um, and to trade. So, so that is the, the angle. If you can make a business model of it, and as Jeremy has very kindly introduced, um, is a very good case study, Ember Cosm, a very good case study for 
um, investment from Innovate UK, which has resulted in, um, in part, in, in the, the business being where it is today. So this is the key message I want to get across today. Just want to mention a couple of other things here. Um, we have, um, as I said, KTN has a big spectrum of, 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 uh, of the market, and uh, um, one part of that is the digital sector. Now, this is the creative part. This is the, the web design, and the, the, rather than um, the, perhaps the nuts and bolts, you know, under the hood coding side of things. Um, and there's another program which is quite separate from what I'm normally involved with. So this is not my, my baby, but again, I can introduce you, called, called IC Tomorrow. It's aimed at the digital sector, and it's about stimulating innovation and growth in the digital sector. So um, I just wanted to mention it, because it could well be relevant to some people in the room. So if you, if you want to um, create uh, innovation and with open source behind the scenes, uh, there's the website up there, and I can introduce you to one of my colleagues in, in the KTN who's, who's the expert on this. Um, we have a, a website which is actually hosted on Innovate uh, UK's Connect web platform. So, um, again, if you, if you join up, or you can, just, you can keep an eye on that to see the events that, that uh, come up from time to time. Now, this is not particularly exclusively um, open source, but... Um, there's a, a competition out at the moment on software verification and validation uh, for complex systems. Um, so again, this is not an open source competition as such, but there is £580,000 in this competition. It launched a week ago. It's open until for, for registrations until the 11th of November. Um, and this just gives you an example. And this is something I'm managing, so it's sort of quite cl close to home and, and on my mind at the moment. But this is the style of it. You know, so this is the brief. Um, and you know, they are looking for companies to collaborate. Um, particularly has to be led by an SME. That's my time. Um, so and I've got some flyers here if you want. And if, if, if anyone's particularly interested in that, I'm very happy to give you more details. There's a briefing for that. Um, the launch briefing's happened, but there's a follow-up briefing on the 9th of October in Birmingham. So um, uh, next week, end of next week. So as I said, please join us uh, if you're not a member already, just to keep posted on activities. Thank you all for listening. Um, do you have any questions?